guys, back again. So I am going to, I've put my lashes on and I am going to take you through highlighting and um, how I do my lips. So moving on, um, I'm going to start my highlight with the Glow Kit by Anastasia Beverly Hills um, in Gleam. But what I'm going to do first is what I like to do is um, put on a little bit of the All Nighter Spray first and then put the powder on over it so it gives you like a really nice dewy look. And also it's gonna stay, which is awesome. So let's get spraying. For highlight is a strobing brush, which I picked up in H&M and it was cheap as chips. So I'm using two shades here. I'm using Starburst and Crush Pearl. Um, so I'm gonna take it in a C shape. Oh yes. So you can see the side. And a little bit down the bridge of the nose, just a little. And Cupid's bow. And a little bit on the tip of the nose. Just a little. And then what I like to do is get the old finger in the crushed pearl, even though I have some iridescence going on from the moon dust, which I put on um, from Urban Decay earlier, I like to pop a little bit extra, just to be extra. Um, and take a tiny bit, literally on the very tip of the brush, being lazy here and just doing underneath the brow bone for extra pop. Um, if you're not sure about that as well, I would advise getting in your blender brush. I used this earlier with my brown uh, from the Charlotte Tilbury Dolce Vita palette. And I would just advise going in and giving that an extra bit of blend up at the top. Uh, just so it all marries in. Lovely. Alrighty then. Um, I'm not wearing any blush. But what I do have is... Um, this blush and it's called Sheer Glow and I picked it up at Professional Beauty in London um, by a private label makeup company. Um, so I'm only going to use a tiny little bit, so literally just that much. I'm going to smoosh it into my fingers and dot it on. This is probably going to even be too much, even that teeny teeny bit I took out. So dot that onto the apples of the cheeks. And plant away. Oh my god, I love this stuff. It's so gorgeous. Um, a little bit more for the other side. But again, really don't need very much. Oh my god, what have I done? <laughs> um, and just tap it into the skin. It does give it a really nice natural looking glow, which is gorgeous. Oh my god, I've got more on myself. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's literally all you need. Um, my nose contour is looking slightly severe, so I'm going to go back in with this brush and just fix that up. Give it another bit of a blend. Um, if you want to make your nose appear shorter, put a bit of dark along here, along the very tip. Um, and obviously you can cinch it in by going down the side. Um, okay. Now for my lips, um, I'm going to be using three products. Um, I am going to overline my lips with uh, Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in the shade Pillow Talk. So that's first. So follow the line of your bottom lip generally with a little bit darker just on the underneath. Be a little bit more heavy handed there. And then for your top lip, which generally is a little bit um, thinner than your bottom lip, I would overline that and really define the cupid's bow. So, overline like so. You can exaggerate your cupid's bow as much as you like, depending on, sorry, I need to stop talking, personal preference. So... So I've overlined that quite a bit, but I do like it to look quite pouty on the top. Uh, fill it in wherever you can. So 
So that and that. Um, I'm now going to use Huda Beauty uh, in the shade Wifey. Wifey for lifey. Okay. Um, this is a lovely nude shade and it's really long wearing and given that I'm going out this evening, it's perfect for me. I always find there's loads on this. Um, so I kind of have to like decant it off into the top. Uh, there we go. This looks quite pale at the moment, but I find once it oxidizes on me, it goes a little bit darker and kind of more towards a bit of a 90s brown. I try not to go over my liner too much because basically if I do, it, it ruins the effect and you kind of, what you did in the first stage is, is pointless. Um, so I need to let that dry for a little bit and then what I'm going to do is um, put a little bit of this Kiko lip pencil crayon um, which is interesting that you can find like a, a kind of a glossy a glossy crayon but I really like it and it's a lovely shade it's a really pretty pink Um, it's called what is it called Sauce. Um, so that's kind of dried down a bit more so I'm just going to pop this in the middle So there you go. Um, I have noticed I've got a little bit of fallout. So what I'm gonna do is take my big powder brush and just powder that out. Uh -huh. And I'm all good to go. There's my finished look, thank you.